Hi there viewers, I'm the Extraordinary Tourist and for this video, for the first time, I'm going to create a painting that features both a cat and a dog. Here is my sketch right here. So that's what we intend to paint. Let's see how it goes. So if you noticed in my sketch that the composition for this piece of artwork is very similar to that of a yin-yang symbol and that was the whole idea from the start, the sort of opposites and balances of the dog and the cat together. And as I was painting it, I sort of felt that the two bottom corners needed something so I just improvised a couple of toys, a toy mouse and a ball and that's how this artwork became Tangled Toys and invariably it's a play fight over whose toys what. Unfortunately while I was filming this I had a lot of trouble with getting the lighting just right and consequently it's a little hard to see what I'm doing but hopefully you can tell enough from just this bit of video and sort of get a fair idea of how this artwork progressed as I was painting it. The process that I went through is the same as I always do. I started with my primary colours as my base coat which is yellow for light areas, red for mid-tones and blue for dark areas and then from there I just sort of plan and sort of improvise my colours with a sort of vague colour scheme in mind. In this case I sort of pictured the background as being reddish yellow tones and the cat being the sort of orange green colours that I usually do for my um, recurring character called Jack which is what the cat in this is based on. Uh, the dog is an entirely new character I who I sort of developed especially for this artwork and I always planned for that to be a sort of a cream, light cream, patchy brown type colour. Um, I don't know what type of dog it's sort of based on, perhaps um, loosely based on some kind of beagle maybe, but that's about as close to a breed as I can sort of describe, it's just a sort of small dog really. So what else can I tell you? Um, you can see here that across the top of the picture the colour is fairly washed out and that's because as I said I had problems with the lighting and I had two lights positioned in the top corners that normally when I film provide just the right amount of lighting and seem okay but for some reason this time it didn't seem to work. Um, perhaps it's because I'm using my old webcam instead of my new camera and I've sort of forgotten what the settings are for that camera but it didn't seem to make much difference. Part of this I did with the lights off because I had what I felt was enough daylight to get to light the picture and then the other half where it's kind of washed out a bit, that's when the lights are on. And you can see pretty much just doing the details and stuff there. Um, there's really not a lot else I can say about this. The whole process, like this artwork from start to finish, when I put all the footage together is about three hours not including the time that I spent actually designing the sketch which for a painting of this size I sort of feel is quite quick for me uh, and I did it over two days I think so it would have been about all up an hour and a half each day excluding the time that it takes to sort of operate the camera and turn it on and off between takes otherwise you get too long a stretch with me just mixing paints and that kind of thing. So at this point it's getting close to finish, 
finishing, just putting the final details on. Now it's a pity you can't see that better, but as I said, lighting troubles just couldn't seem to overcome them for some reason, so... There you go, removing the tape. And... That's the finished artwork, Tangled Toys.